was, is, and will be. You know who it is. You know where you at. It's the Hip Hop Sunday, Urban Monk in the Temple, your favorite influencer's favorite influencer. You want to join me here? All you got to do, hit that subscribe button. Like, unlike, leave a comment, but hit the button. Become a part of the family. You become a subscriber, you become a monk. And if you have any requests, suggestions, or information regarding any of the groups that we review here, all you got to do is hit us up at Temple of the Monk at gmail.com. That's monk with the Q. Temple of the Monk gmail.com. Don't forget the Q and don't forget to sign up for the Discord. Go in there, make yourself a profile, join the live listening parties and discussion. And if you would like to support this channel in any way other than subscribing, we do have a Patreon link down there as well. More BTS, man. Salute. We ready to do it right now. Hold me tight. If you ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Gotcha. What's up? What's up? This is Ben Ken Exclusive. <laughs> and the coolest kid in the world. Woo! BTS. I rap monster. And I love the way it comes in. This is one of, I told you, so for the new people, I'm very particular about, about slow, what we call slow jams, okay? Or um, easy listening, all right? Very, very p p particular. And I could tell you if you, you, I told you my facial expressions don't lie. My body movements don't lie. I don't I don't front like it's hard for me to like act like I like something if I don't like it. But usually you can see off the back or sometimes if I'm kind of like this and then you see me move, it means it took that much time for me to for it, the song to register because my body reacts to a certain mood of the instruments playing, if, if that makes any sense. So when I when it gets like that you know, like, okay, wait a minute, what's all, Monk's, Monk's not, <laughs> Monk's not moving, something's wrong, and then y'all move, like, uh, uh, okay, there it is, it's, that's how, that's how I am, if you look back at some of my videos, you'll see, I never wild out unless it, I need to wild out, and I don't move unless the music tells me to, I don't, I, I can't, I can't, and it's hard, you'll know if I'm faking it, you will, it's, it, those who've been here for a while, they know, they know the, they know the me, so, um, but I, I already, I could tell you off the back, there was something about this when it started that I was already hooked. And I love piano. And then this right here. way it just blends in with that piano is just it got me right there they got me right there all right let me pay attention to the lyrics <laughs> Oh, what do you say? I missed that. I'm sorry. You and I are like cell phones. When we're apart, 
you know will be broken. Uh, And so I, I, I'm, the lyrics came on first, which is, ah, uh, let me let me see something. Oh, okay. So I have to, I have a live. Okay, I'm gonna check out the live. Um, hopefully, Big Hit doesn't have a problem with that. And then we got, oh, we got a lot of, we got so much BTS to go through. It's insane. It's insane. Um, and I'm, I checked dual set for these two. I'm going to look again. I'm going to look again because maybe I'm not searching right. You guys help me if I'm not. But we're going to check out the live right now of this song, Hold Me Tight. So you guys ready? <laughs> Yeah. 
even better than and listen to the song but I, I like to i like to watch the live because i get a chance to um i get a chance to see the facial expressions you know there's nothing like seeing the passion along with the the art you know what i mean it's good so the song was dope again i don't take light of the translation uh anymore i think before i kind of had like a surface idea and then I learned to stop doing that. I want to check just to, just to be sure. Yeah, so no, no dual set for those either. Uh, I don't know how long dual set has been out. So I'm thinking maybe for some of the really, really earliest stuff, she may not have anything. 
for that. And that's per that's perfectly fine. We just got to do with with what we got. Uh, hold me tight. I think the last thing I remember from BTS is they weren't so much chasing love as to maybe finding it and trying to hold on to it. And here it looks like they're losing it. I might be wrong if I'm corrected where we left off at. I think I was so tied up into <clears throat> the ciphers not being posted and then getting posted that I lost track of where I was at. And so um, <clears throat> our last song from them before that was, um, does that make sense? And so that could have been the point in which where, yeah, because we had like, uh, of course, hip hop lover, right? Uh, we had Let Me Know. We had, um, yeah, we had Let Me Know, Rain. And then does that make sense? And I think that might have been the point where we're looking at love, not knowing where it's at, not knowing what to think, not knowing what to expect. And then maybe the chance of losing that love or that interest or whatever like that. Uh, and I could be, again, I could be wrong, but I'm trying to do my best to kind of build a, a theory behind the, the the thing i'm trying to learn it even if i get it wrong <laughs> if i get it wrong i just got to get it wrong so you know it's all good but it's it's fun and i remember uh talking to a couple of people regarding that it's it's fun to kind of build matter of fact i think it was anitra when we had the conversation starting this series because i had got her and gnu um gnu's help on it is it's fun to kind of guess your own even if you get it wrong it's okay but it's fun to try to get an idea and build your own theory around it because a theory is just that you know what i mean and so um but you know i like to stay on track and i know a lot of you guys know what's up way more than i do and so you know of, of course um i'm going to look at that and be like see if i was close even if i was close i get excited you know what i mean if i was close to what i thought it was so i says oh you almost had it and i'm like ah, i'm growing i'm getting there so you know it's all dope but in any case we got a lot more bts to cover man i'm t it pff, it's it's insane it's insane and of course more discussions regarding um their success i want to definitely do lives regarding that um their success their motive behind it army and this whole billboard thing because i you know a lot of people are you know um a, a lot of people believe that BTS uh, making making the number one spot on Billboard was important. And I could see where that might be the case. As a person who has um, seen what the industry is like here, I would say Billboard needs BTS more than BTS needs Billboard. Because if you ask me, and fuck it, we'll talk about it now. If you ask me, and, and it came from it came from um, it came from someone who had uh, left the left the comment. And, you know, not, not, a, not a bad comment or anything, but it was just more so, it was just more so how um, Billboard is trash. We, and we know that. You guys know that. <laughs> I, I know that. I don't even have to, I, I don't even have to, like, um, what do you call it? Like, build on that. Like, we all know how garbage they are. Um, but I think what, what we tend to, what, in my mind, it's like this. Um, and I'm going to see if I can find it. I'm going to see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, and this is from uh, Cheney Wallace. Big up to Cheney Wallace. Uh, she says, we know Billboard is trash, but it's one of the only ways to get BTS's name somewhere in the West and make people take notice uh, what amazing artists they are. And if that's what we have to do, not only to make them seem, but to make BTS smile and relax for a split second. That's what we'll do. And I and I get that. I, I, I get that, Chaney. Um, but I'm just going to speak truthfully and honestly that to some degree about that, I disagree. And I'm going to tell you why. Because BTS, if you look at the scope of things that BTS has done from start to finish, them and bang, them and bang, they were already number one. They were number one as soon as they hit Western world. They didn't need Billboard to tell them that. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. And that's why I say Billboard is trash. Because Billboard needs BTS more than BTS needs Billboard. Period. Billboard has been garbage for a couple of decades by now. Everybody knew that. 
We all knew that over here. For the Western world to respond to BTS without the help of Billboard had already happened. So it's not like they needed Billboard to tell them, oh, okay, you guys, you guys hit the number one chart on Billboard. <laughs> why? Why? Billboard, why do you think that happened? You think it happened because of you? It didn't happen because of you. They didn't need you to tell them that. It was ARMY. It was their supporters. Nothing is stronger than a support group. Nothing is stronger than when you have the backing of a strong force behind you. And I don't care if it's 1,000 or 100 million. When you have the support of people behind you, those people right there, the people behind you, set the bar. And Billboard, if you add, in my opinion, Billboard had no choice. They had no choice. They had to. The numbers talk. They don't lie. You know what I'm saying? It, they don't lie. And ARMY said, okay, okay. You want to fuck, fuck with the most powerful fandom in all of K-pop, if not the world? Okay. Billboard, we'll play your game. We got you. BTS, they knew what they had to do on their end. All right, Billboard, we got you. We, we see how you talking to dudes. You're talking to dudes. <clears throat> You're talking to dudes whose collective IQ just within the seven members outdoes half the industry in the Western world. So, and um, and that, I could be exaggerating, but I had to throw that in there just to kind of throw insult into injury. Um, the, 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 I'm just, just, and again, it's just my opinion. I kind of disagree. I don't think that they needed Billboard whatsoever. They were already smiling. Why? Because they have the biggest fandom, the most supportive fandom. And that's all I keep telling people. I said it about Alip. I said it about Dimash. I said it about EXO. I said, it. all you need are your supporters, dude. That's all you need. The industry is nothing. The industry doesn't make money without those people. They can't make money without the supporters. They can't make money without the artists. They are broke. They are nothing. They should be bowing down. They should be begging, like throwing rose petals out on the red carpet when BTS walks up. Because nobody needs nobody needs Billboard MTV. Are you fucking kidding me? Hell no. What do we? What do you need them for? The new era has learned this through social media. I don't care how garbage the artist is. Let's just let's let's just be honest in me saying that. Even with six nine, I've said even with six nine, I said. As garbage as this dude is, I got to give him credit to the fact that he was able to say, I'm going to use Instagram, TikTok, whatever to make my moves. And them motherfuckers are going to come to me. You don't want to take my demo tape. You don't want to listen to what I have to say. All right. Fuck you. You will be. I will be back. Matter of fact, when I come back, you'll be knocking on my door. That's just the mentality. That's the mentality. And it was, it's been done before social media. Hammer did it. Too Short did it, um, I, selling out the back of their cars to the point where people had to come. Jay-Z did it, you know what I'm saying? Where, he, where Def Jam came to him. They didn't, when, when Jay-Z went over there and did his thing, they didn't want to conform. Said, all right, we'll do it ourselves then. Fuck you, we'll do it ourselves. And then Def Jam had to, they, Def Jam had to conform. Def to their to the way they wanted things done. They still try to cut corners, of course, because that's what industry people do, right? They still try to get the they still try to suck the blood out of out of you in any way they can. They're not slick. But with these cats, man, I and I, again, Cheney, I, I I see what you're saying, but I can't help but slightly disagree with that be, be, because in the Western world, BTS. I mean, I didn't need Billboard. For me to look at BTS and be like, yo, this is this is kind of dope right here. What am I looking at? And then for that to spread. This is before I even had any idea what was going on in K-pop. None. Nothing. And so when I look at that and I say, well, <laughs> the only thing I could possibly think of is that this for BTS was a big finger to everybody who doubted. And I'm not talking about individual people you know like haters i'm talking about to the industry that continuously tried to keep bts out of the light 
and you can't do it. I remember not. I remember not. If you guys ever seen the, 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 the movie Belly with Nas and he says, I don't care how many clouds cover the sun, you cannot stop it from shining. No matter how many clouds, no matter how much overcast there is, you can cover the sun, but you cannot stop it from shining. And that's what I think about when I think about BTS is that they just kept doing their thing. And through all the stress, which I'm sure they possibly still go through, through all the stress and, uh, and, and um, expectation and anticipation and, and, and all the things that they were going through, I'm sure that people were ready to, you know, they still said, we're going to fight through this and make it happen. I know at one time they were talked about disbandment way back and um but they they came through and this is the reward man billboard okay number one spot so many but and when i look at it learning about bts and still learning about, about about bts when i look at it not from an arrogant standpoint i look at it as bts saying okay well looks like we're gonna have to looks like we're gonna have to play the game so how do we play the game they learn how to do it and they pull it off. No, no cheating, nothing like that. And I saw the Instagram post on there. Um, big up to big up to Forbes for that for that writing. That that article was dope. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to look for it. Regarding regarding BTS and the people who said that they um they they used some of the tricks that had already been used by Western in Western artists, uh, yeah, by by Western um, musicians. And then people started hating. But of course they're going to do that, right? Of course they're going to hate. They're going to get mad. Why? Because BTS learned the game and flipped it on them. So now people got shit to say. But you didn't say when the other artists were doing this. When Taylor Swift did it. When Beyonce did it. You guys didn't say anything when any of these other groups were doing that. Nobody said nothing. BTS does it. They figured out how to do it. And they gain. They gain off of it. And now you mad because they figured out, they figured out the, the, the code. They, they cracked it, and so now you upset? Psst, come on, man. It's, it, it's obvious. So I laughed when I saw that, and Forbes did a great job with that article, man. I read it. Um, it was put out on Instagram. Instagram or Twitter? Twitter. It was on Twitter, and I checked us. Let me check this out real quick. Checked it out. Somebody tagged me with it, and I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, that's how you got to do it, though. You got, if you don't play the industry game, you become an industry lame. You got to learn it. And they did it. They did it. Not that BTS is not that BTS is lame. I'm just saying like you miss you get to miss out because everybody else that knows the tricks are going to use them. OK, why not? But it's not like BTS used it in a sense of to get because they didn't need to gain anything. They literally outdid everybody over here, period. They had already did that. But what they needed to do is outdo the industry. This again, this is my opinion. They needed to outdo that. Never mind the uh, artists, because BTS isn't. I don't think BTS. I, I, sure, BTS isn't about that. They're not about like saying stepping on artists and saying they're better than this person or that person. But they needed to show the industry what they what they were capable of. They needed to show the industry that they deserved the respect, that they deserved the recognition, and that they deserved to not be counted out discredited you know what i mean diluted they needed to make sure that the industry understood that they were paying attention and that the industry wasn't going to cloud over the sun we're here whether you block it or not event you can go ahead and block but eventually the wind is going to blow you away and we'll still be there <laughs> The clouds will come over the wind will blow you out the way and we will still be in the same spot rising setting rise every day the same thing the sun does the same thing the clouds the clouds are unpredictable we can never truly predict what the weather will be like you can say it rains and then all of a sudden wind can easily shift the tide or uh shift the uh shift the momentum so but the sun does the same thing 24 hours a day right and that's what bts is they're the sun you can't block them out the industry is just a bunch of cumulus clouds you know what I mean? I'm just I'm on my soapbox right now. I'm sorry, but I just had to throw that in there. Big up to again, big up Cheney. Your uh, comments are very, and I ho don't hardly I'm I'm start getting into reading comments, but I thought that was very interesting. And I do again, I do understand exactly what you mean though. You make a great point. 
I'm just giving you my take on it from what I see and why I said Billboard was trash because I felt like Billboard was clout chasing. That's what I felt like, if that makes any sense. I just felt like they were just like, oh, you know, hey, you know, BTS got the number one, everybody. Where were you? <laughs> like, where were you at? We knew that already. We just wanted you to know that they were number one because obviously you weren't paying attention and obviously you didn't get it. So we had to show you that they were, we had to show you that they were number one. You didn't show us anything that we didn't already know. We already knew that, but you needed to know that billboard. You needed to know it and you needed to know it on your own platform. And we needed everybody to see it. We needed everybody to see that you had to bow down to it. That's just my opinion on it, man. I just had, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Anyway, y'all know what's going down. Subscribe, like, share, leave your comments below. And I don't care how long they are. Let's grow together, share knowledge, and build community. Until the next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Any spot getting plenty props Cause I'm weak Cali any hot Till my body rides If it's running up I spray them down Like the body shop Finger bangs Just get with four fingers Like karate chop I'm bragging more than you imagine To the non-factors and sagging Cause we still getting Spelling everything backwards Sometimes I forget lines Like gold-plated actors So I guzzle a 50 act Till I regurgitate